So today I am kind of cleaning house, I guess. <laughs> okay, so old dog Hank is about 13. She's outside right now and she is laying in the sun and loving it. But this last week or so, um, she's really been kind of stiff and stuff with a cold. We bought this little $20 rug at Walmart a couple of weeks ago. We don't have carpeting. We have hardwood floors. Um, old, old are hardwood floors. And they're kind of drafty. They're cold. It is what it is. But we bought this because that way it would give her something to lay on. So she's taken to laying on it. She, You can see it's tracked up and kind of dirty. I'm going to have to vacuum it now. Um, but then we introduced these old pillows that I keep around for bedding. Um, old fill pillows used to be full of uh, goose feathers and down and all that. Now they're full of polyfill. But to insulate a young lamb from the cold of the floor in the barn or down here in the pen that's in, built into the house. Um, they're wonderful. So they're not reusable though. Once they're used, they pretty much stink nasty. You gotta get rid of them. So I threw them on the floor for her and she has been laying on a couple of them. So I decided instead of it looking like I have dead pillows laying in the middle of the floor, like it has for the last week, I decided I'm gonna make a little um, cover so, I took this right here, and this is fabric. It's like some fake microfiber that is left over from the curtains in the front room. This, some fleece left over from making a friend a dog bed. And I just measured it to be two pillows wide. Then I'm going to stitch it all together and just hem one in and put cam snaps on it so it can be um, snapped closed and uh, washed. The other thing I'm going to add to this is that I'm going to actually incorporate some real wool in here for a little bit better insulation. It also repels fleas, that kind of stuff. So I'm going to make it a true dog bed, but I'm going to use her pillows as filler. So I'm going to get this sewed up, come back, and I'll show you what okay, I did. So here's what I've gotten done. I did get off on this corner, but guys, it's a dog bed. If it was anything else, I'd rip it out, do it right. I didn't pin, I just laid them up there, and you can see it just kind of started to go crooked here, and by here it was kind of, but I should have pinned it. I didn't, it was the last, I just wanted to get done. Um, I'm going to trim all this, flip it right side out, hem this, um, so I can put some cam snaps on it, and that way it'll just be ready to go. And then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make the inside with those pillows okay, and some real so wool. Guys, so far I took and I put the wool bat around my pillows. I just whip stitched it with some yarn here. And then I did take, and let me see if I can show you this. Um, I put an old fashioned tie through each pillow to keep it from sliding. So that's, you know, this is not going to be something that is uh, ever washed or anything so it's just gonna be taken out that'll be washed when it gets dirty and then that's it it'll be slipped right back on I'm actually gonna go in the fiber room and see if I can make a casing for it but I probably won't get that done today um, just something to have like a muslin over it or something but not today but for right now I have this up here this done and I just hemmed it i didn't even really do an amazing job at hemming it i just zigzag stitched i'm going to slide this in and then i'm going to adjust it and put cam snaps in so you don't have to watch me wrestle with this i'll come back and show you the cam okay, snaps so, here in a minute as you can see all is in i'm going to scrunch it back and i'm probably going to i think i've decided on about three cam snaps so if you don't know what cam snaps are they're a little plastic um snaps I don't know if you can see that I have to. and I have a tote here with all different colors in it I just keep an array of colors so I'm just gonna look for some that match I've got all kinds of blues I think those match the best um, like I said I've got tons of little blues and it doesn't really matter because it is a dog bed but I do think those match the best so for cam snaps, um, if you've ever used these, they're just plastic snaps. I like them. Um, they're affordable, they're replaceable, all that good stuff. So, okay. So uh, for those of you who don't know how to do cam snaps, you just decide where you're gonna do it. I'm eyeballing it 
don't really care. Take your awl, put it through both spots, pull the bottom one off, put your plastic back or outside of the snap through your hole. And yes, I tend to lose mine sometimes, so it takes me a minute every once in a while to get it through my hole. I try to keep my thumb on it, but sometimes I don't. And then take your uh, center piece, your center inside, got your back here, got your inside here. Comes with this nifty little tool. And scratch it. Ta-da, it's done. Now you have to come up here and you have to do the reason you do both of them together is because you take this out, put the other one so that it matches up and lines up. So and we're going to repeat the process right here. And voila, you have a plastic snap. Just saying. And now if I wanted to get fancy, I would have put this brown too, but I didn't want to break up my set. This is enough for a dog bed. This is her little poofy dog bed. I'm hoping it makes her happy because it's done. It is what it is. So instead of having pillows in the middle of my floor, I will now have this in the middle of my floor and it won't look so bad, I don't think. But we'll see. The true test will be, will Hank lay on it? I, I don't know. I'm hoping so. <laughs> she refuses so many things. Who knows? So anyway, how to whip out a dog bed in just a few minutes.